Today I'll show you how easy it is to redesign a logo without any design skills or special software. It is all done with Logo Diffusion V4. I'll pick two well-known logos and redesign them in our app. I'll explore different styles and ideas while showing you the entire process which is simple and the results are production ready professional vector logos. Stay until the end and feel free to leave any questions in the comments down below. How's it going everybody? It is Google from Logo Diffusion and I'm really excited to show you some impressive stuff today. Without any further ado, let's start with the KFC logo. I'll head over to the image to image workspace and drop it in. As you can see, it's a quite complex logo, so I had an idea to simplify it somehow. So in style categories, I'm gonna choose abstract. Detail level, let's make it minimalist and in styles, I'm gonna choose geometric. Let's keep the image colors turned on and describe the logo. A logo of an old man wearing glasses and a bow tie in a circle. I think it's pretty good explanation. I'm actually gonna increase the image strength to around 7 to get a bit more closer result to the original logo. I'm gonna remove any colors from the color palette. Let's clear it and click generate. Okay, so we got some really interesting results. The composition and placement of every detail is the same, but it's a lot simpler. It basically turned all the curves into more geometric and simpler shapes. It did take the color palette from the logo, but made it more 2D. Removed shadows and made this dark red a bit more lighter. I'm really happy with the version so far, so let's make something a bit different. So in style categories, I'm gonna choose mascot. In details, let's choose minimalist and I'm gonna turn off character composition and composition. Let's decrease the image strength to around 5. I'm gonna keep use the image colors turned off because I don't want it to take red from the actual logo. So I wanna create a logo of an old man wearing a magician's hat in a purple circle and holding a magic wand. And I'm pretty happy with the settings so let's click generate. Okay, let's check out the results. We definitely got the magician with magic wand. He's not wearing glasses anymore because I did not describe it in the prompt and image strength was set to 5 so it had a lot more creative freedom to make any changes that would make him uh, have more magician vibes. I see there are some imperfections which you'll get time to time like having these weird shapes popping out of nowhere but it's never anything major and I'm pretty sure you can easily regenerate and get the results you like. Now before I move on to to the next logo, let's make one hyper realistic version as well. So in style settings, let's choose realistic and choose hyper realism. I'm gonna set use the image colors to around 4 or 5 and image strength to around 6 or 5. Let's keep it 6 and image colors set to 5. Let's describe an image. I'm gonna do a bit more detailed explanation here. An old man with white hair and a goatee wearing glasses, bow tie and apron in a red circle. I think it's really good prompt and really mentions all the details that I want this realistic version to have. I'm pretty happy with the settings so let's click generate. Yeah, the results are pretty impressive. It understood the prompt really well actually. We got all the elements and colors in the right place which is exactly what I wanted. Now I really want to upscale this and show you even more details but before I do that let's actually compare it to the logo. Yep, it is the same but the realistic version. Now I'm gonna click upscale. Let's do 2x upscale for now. I'm gonna set optimized for realistic. I'm gonna keep the creativity level to around 3. If you want the exact same details and nothing else added to the image, you can set it to 1 and get the exact same upscaled image, but I'm giving it this tiny freedom I would say to add some creative elements like more detailed wrinkles, maybe some hair strings popping out from his hair and other tiny elements like that. 
Alright, let's zoom in to actual size and see the details. It is a lot more detailed as you see. Wrinkles are more visible as well as the hair. Every hair string is basically visible. You can just zoom in and see them. The skin is very human. You got the coloring that is not perfectly smooth or same in every spot. You got the reflections caused by grease on some parts of the face like nose for example. And materials of clothes are very detailed. I think it's a really solid take and I'm really happy with the result. Now let's move to another logo which is Animal Planet and it's quite the opposite of the KFC because it is really simple. So I want to keep this one the same shape but add a bit more details like face elements maybe and a beautiful gradient inside. So in style categories I'm gonna choose logo design and let's choose pictorial. In style settings I'm gonna keep the structure organic and turn everything else off. I'm gonna do a simple explanation of the logo which is logo of an elephant jumping. Let's keep the image strength to 7 because I want it to be really similar to the actual logo. In colors I'm gonna check the gradient and let's choose primary color to be blue. Turn the secondary logo gradient as well and set it to green. And I'm gonna choose background to be white. I'm not gonna turn on use the image colors. I'm pretty happy with the settings and let's click generate. So I pretty much got exactly what I had in mind, same logo shape, a bit more details and a beautiful gradient. Let's click the image and compare it to the original logo. So the shape is exactly the same, I see it added shadows to the legs and ears which makes it a lot easier actually to see parts of an elephant. I like all the versions on this one so let's try a different style now. So for this one I'm gonna choose icon and emoji style. In style settings I'm gonna keep the detail level to detailed, let's turn off the view. I will clear the colors because I kinda wanna see different versions. I'm gonna keep the same prompt, everything is fine I think and let's click generate. So like I expected it has more details and the color is similar to a real elephant. I would definitely use it as an icon or emoji which is well what this style is all about. Now how about we turn this into a line art to make even more simpler version of it. So in style categories I'm gonna choose logo design and line art. Let's make line thickness to be thick. Structure I'm gonna make it geometric. I'm gonna keep character composition turned off. Let's keep the detail level to minimalist and style to modern. We can leave the image rank to be 7. We can also keep the prompt and let's click generate. Okay, I like the results. I see two of them are unusable because they have these unknown shapes on them. Like I said, these imperfections happen sometimes and it is totally fine. You can always regenerate or just vectorize if you really like the version and fix them in Illustrator which would take just few minutes I guess. Now I want to make hyper realistic version for this logo as well, so let's choose hyper realism. Let's keep everything the same, I'm just gonna add tiny detail in the prompt, logo of an elephant jumping and let's say in Africa. So everything else is fine and let's click generate. Alright so we got what we wanted, I see one very cool detail that it added to the images which is this cloud of a dust caused by the jump, it's actually really impressive. The shape and posture is the same as the logo and we got Africa in the background as well, great. Now before I finish the video, I really want to vectorize one of the logos and show you how easy it is to work on them and maybe do your custom edits. So just click the image, then click vectorize image, click vectorize once again. And here's the file in Illustrator. As you see the shapes are very smooth, it definitely looks like human made it. All the shapes are really easy to ungroup and move around, so you can easily change colors and do whatever you want. 
I guess that is it for today. We've seen how easy it is to manipulate and redesign logos in a simple way to achieve amazing results, all using Logo Diffusion V4. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I encourage you to try yourself and share your thoughts with us. We really appreciate your feedback. I hope to see you in the next video.